Hello students, I think you all are able to understand previous chapter. Today we are going to begin with new chapter which is Physiology and Injuries in Sports. Let's start with the first topic which is Physiological Factors Determining the components of physical fitness. Introduction. Physical fitness is the reflection of an athlete's capacity to carry out various sports activities. Without premature fatigue, health of an athlete includes the physical, emotional and physiological fitness. The components that determine physical fitness include strength, speed, flexibility, coordination ability, and endurance. Different activities put different demands on various systems of the body. With each task requiring efficient performance of each organ. Let's start with the physiological factors determining strength. Strength comes from various physiological factors. First point, muscle size. Size determines strength in case of muscles. More the muscle mass, more forceful is the contraction. While the force produced is same in male and female for same mass of muscle. Male tend to be stronger because of higher muscle mass and longer size. Muscle size and strength can be improved by strength training in both the cases. Next point is body weight. Heavier individuals tend to be stronger, especially if their weight is muscle. Lean body mass which is body weight minus the fat is an important determine of strength. More lean mass, lean muscles mass equals higher capacity to lift weight and is benefit in sports like weight lifting. Our next point is muscle composition. Muscle have Basically, two types of fiber, the fast tissue or the white fiber and slow tissue also known as the red fiber. The red, the ratio of this fiber is generally decided and cannot change. More the white muscle fiber a person has higher the power the muscle will generate. Our next point is nerve impulse intensity. Basic unit of the muscle is called the motor unit. More the contraction motor unit a muscle has higher will be the force generated. Stronger the nerve impulse to the motor unit from the brain, stronger will be the contraction. This leads to more muscle strength. Our next point is length of limb and muscle. It is observed the short limb individual are able to lift more weight compared to long limb. Individual because of advantageous leverage factors, arms and legs. Additionally, people with long, long muscle have greater potential for developing strength than people with relatively short muscle. Our next point is point of tendon insertion. Muscle strength can also vary with difference in the point of tendon insertion. For example, let us presume that two individuals have the same 
arms and muscle length. However, the first individual bicep tendon attached to their forearm. Further, from their elbow joint than the second individual. This gives the first person a biomechanical advantage and they can lift more weight in bicep exercise. At the end, I hope that you all are clear with this topic. To revise previous chapter and complete your notes, thank you.